Welcome to the Practice Sim Designer tutorial series. This is where we talk about simulation mode and dry fire mode. If you have not seen the first video, I urge you to take a look at the first tutorial video that talks about the tool, introduce the user interface, and the editing capabilities. One of the reasons why Practice Sim Designer was built as a 3D tool is the ability to simulate your stage. What does it mean by simulating your stage? Well, once you build your stage in Practice Sim Designer, you can very easily drop in as a shooter and pretend to shoot your stage. And so what, how you get to simulation mode is you hit F10. So when you hit F10, it defaults to walk mode because you naturally won't be able to fly. And it allows you to then move around like a normal shooter and shoot the targets using your gun. Uh, there are four different guns that are in the system right now and you can cycle through the guns by hitting the one key if you look at the instructions on the right hand side. Right now, by default, it's my open gun. It's a JPL 9mm major open gun. If I hit one, it, uh, it, it's a Glock, a standard Glock with iron sights. Uh, cycle through it, a CZ, cycle through it, a SIG with a DOT, uh, basically a carry optics gun, and an open gun. And just like any FPS game, uh, you can either shoot it from here, like this, by hitting the left click, right, and, left, and you see the holes appear on the target. Or you can ADS, or aim down sights, right, by hitting right click. So if you hit right click, it switches to ADS mode, which allows you to look at it just like you would in a life. Like that. And if I switch the guns, now I have iron sights. And then I switch to a different gun. Do a dot, a carry out dot so you can move around, shoot like that, right? And so that's simulation mode. What's really interesting too is you can uh, turn on the timer. Uh, so for instance, if I were to hit enter to start and end, so if I hit enter. Are you ready? Stand by. So do that, and you will see that it will the timer or both will record the split. Uh, I guess I guess I oh I didn't get this one. Oh, reload. Hit R to reload. And that's it. And once you're done, you hit enter. Um, if you're finished, unload and show clear. Well, you don't really have if to unload. Clear, but hammer down and holster. Range is clear. It automatically detects your score, your hits, and it shows you all the hits on the different targets. And you will calculate your time, your shots, your points, and your hit factor as well. And if you go over here, you can see the result that's overlaid. You can, as you can see, this is an Alpha Charlie. That's a 2 Alpha. This is an Alpha Delta, and so forth. And so here you can then, once you have a nice stage, you can basically simulate it. So let me load up a cool stage that we've built. Uh, just for those of you who remember, uh, this is the CM2101 classifier. Those of you who shot this before will, will recognize this stage. This is CM2101, one of the new classifiers. You know, where you start in this position, you shoot these four targets, you move forward, you shoot this four, and then you run across, you shoot this four. So let me switch back to my open gun here. Stand here and then let's start the simulation mode. Are you ready? Stand by. Ah. Ah. Lean. You can also lean. Lean out left or right by using Q and E keys. So once you're done, hit you're enter. Finished, unload I and think I did clear. really badly. If clear, hammer down and holster. Range is clear. Ooh, hit factor 21. <laughs> I don't think anybody can do it that quickly. So, in real life. But I uh, just wanted to show you this is uh, simulation mode. The other, similar to the simulation mode, you can also use this to do dry fire. Uh, and that's a mode called dry fire mode, which allows you to position, make uh, waypoints within your stage and then animate uh, the positions from one space, from one place to another. And how you do that is uh, through use of waypoints. So if I hit on the props menu, let's say if I pick waypoint and drop the first waypoint here, and I want to uh, basically say the first position 
you would stand here and face this direction like that and i can specify a few things i can specify the position of my stance whether i'm crouched or prone here or i'm tilting or and what the delay time is so in this case uh, i say stand here for two seconds right and then i'll clone this i'll move this over here the next position will be here i want it to look somewhere down this direction i want you to also uh, stay there for about two seconds just to simulate right and then the last position is over here like this for another two seconds so once i specify all these waypoints when i go to dry fire mode it will ultimately move me to this position for two seconds then move to this position for two seconds and then move to this position for another two seconds so let's see how that looks like in dry fire mode so in order to go to dry fire mode hit f9 and then hit enter to start are you ready stand by so what you can do now is you can put on your gear and put this on a big screen and have this go and then you can draw your gun and then just you're finished, pretend to shoot the dry fire basically clear. It's like a dry fire train, right? You hit again, enter Are again to do it one more time. Stand by. And you can see that you can't really see the target on the left. So maybe let's go change it. Let's go back to editing mode. Maybe make the person stand out a little bit more here. And maybe look this direction a little bit more. Okay. Then go back to dry fire mode, hit enter. Yeah, Are now you, you can see all four. So, so you can stand put on your gear, put on your belt, and then go draw your gun. Bam, 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 bam. If you're finished, Although two seconds seems to be a little bit fast, maybe you want to increase that number. Down and holster. So go over here. Range uh, is clear. Say increase the delay time by hitting your um, square bracket key. So let's say three, four. Let's do let's do four seconds. Four seconds for that. Four seconds for that, and then four seconds for that as well. Now go to dry fire mode. Hit enter. Are you ready? Stand by. Beep. Bam. 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 Bam 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 That feels more realistic, right? So now you can do that and you can incorporate it incorporate this tool in the stage that you've designed in your dry fire practice. So that's it for this module. Let's move on to the next.